Ladies and gentlemen, I forgot your last name. Monica! Right, yeah, come on up. Please give it up. to be when you grew up. Go ahead, shout it out. A plumber, all right. It's a simple question, but it's very important. We spend decades of our lives in the office, working. And oftentimes when we're not physically in the office, we're talking about work. We're crazy like that. When I was 10 years old, I drew a picture of a factory. Yeah, Hershey Kisses Factory, actually, and apparently my parents like to save my artwork, because here it is. Let me tell you, nobody grows up wanting to work in a factory. No one grows up wanting to work in manufacturing, right? Yeah, I didn't, didn't think so. <laughs> you know, a apparently, though, there was something in me that, that liked it. I mean, manufacturing can be really sexy, right? I mean, look at all these colors and these curves and these moving parts. <laughs> Manufacturing can be really glamorous and so efficient. It's amazing. I started working for a manufacturing company here in Denver when I was 25. And let me tell you, I don't fit the mold. I never did and I probably never will. In fact, today in the US, only 30% of all manufacturing jobs are held by women. So my first step in my new job was, all right, how do we fit in with the team? I, I don't look the part, but I can at least try to hang with the big dogs and see what happens. So I, I quickly realized that I had to learn the lingo, and that meant a hefty sports tongue. All right, so <clears throat> let me practice in front of you all. We need to defend our business by blocking and tackling. Tee up this idea to push it past the goal line. Oh my gosh, it was so ridiculous. I, I'm not good at sports talk, and I probably never will be. In fact, none of my coworkers thought I was very good at it either, so I, I just don't do it anymore, in fact. Ugh. <laughs> and then I got sent to the work version of Time Out. Yeah, really, Time Out. So stupid. Um, and that's when I realized that a lot of my coworkers and my bosses and my superiors were old enough to be my father or maybe my grandfather. Just wasn't gonna work. All right, so let's shift over to office design. There are actually places in my building called the Snake Pit, the Wolf Den, and Fraternity Row. Ladies, obviously these areas were designed with masculinity and competition in mind. And to this day, I still get shocked when someone asks me to go make a pot of coffee and that they'll handle it from here, you can just exit the meeting. Ah, we've come so far in the workplace. We're not there yet. And, and honestly, what is wrong with, with our scrutiny towards women's workwear? I'm tired of having to figure out what suit I need to wear and if the right blue is the right blue for that day. I mean, come on. Sometimes work for me and work for women just feels like you're stuck between a rock and a hard place. You're damned if you do and you are damned if you do not. Yet, we all face a lot of issues in work, but there's something we can all work on starting today, and that is confidence. And we all know what arrogance looks like, it's on the far end of the spectrum, we all know what lack of confidence looks like. It's all about that sweet spot that we're after, what I like to call the sweet spot of confidence. All right, so what does that take? Austin Powers aside, it takes mojo. And mojo is, it's hard to define, you have to find what works for you, what is really your mojo. Maybe it's another person, maybe it's an activity. Own it though, you gotta have mojo. Who here has seen Kid President on YouTube? Yeah, if you haven't seen him, go home and check him out, he's amazing. Honestly though, give yourself a little pep talk. No one else will, you have to do it. And the third, look the part. Clothes aside, you need posture. You need eye contact and you need a rock and smile. I guarantee you, no matter who you are talking to, if you look them in the eye and you smile at them, you'll win them over. Okay, so let's review. We've got mojo, you gotta look the part, and what's the other one? 
you, you got it, you got the gist. The, the truth is, I share my experience in manufacturing not because it's different from what you do in work, but because we all struggle in the workplace. Being successful is not easy. There's no real plan, there's no path. It's scary, it's demeaning, it's tough. But people, I believe that when you treat yourself with the same amount of respect that you demand from others, you'll get where you wanna be. Thank you.